migraines and eye sensitivity. Unexplained illnesses. My brain fog is really bad. Wide ranging symptoms. My body just completely aches. A common factor, breast implants. For a year and a half, CBS5 has been investigating, even traveling outside the country to uncover possible risks women say they were never warned about. This is a saline implant. Mold, microorganisms, rot. This one had a lot more liquid and it looks like chocolate milk. Claims of faulty implant designs and sick women getting kicked out of studies on implant safety. As soon as they started complaining to their plastic surgeon about how sick they were feeling, suddenly they weren't in the study anymore. The FDA and medical community do not recognize breast implant illness as a real condition. What cannot be ignored? The growing number of women who say they got better when their implants were removed. When doctors tell me it's all in your head, no, it's not in my head. It's not in these women's heads. I want you to take a look. These are all women that I have heard from during my investigations. A fraction of the women around the world who believe that their implants made them sick. Well, tens of thousands of women suffering from unexplained illnesses are now finding each other on social media, demanding action and getting it. The FDA announced that they will hold a public hearing on breast implants. But tonight we're investigating concerns those hearings will favor implant manufacturers. Just listing my symptoms, insomnia, I couldn't sleep. I was lucky to get two to three hours a night and I've never had problems sleeping. Even Robin Tout's story is different from many of the women I've talked to who say health problems started years after getting breast implants. How soon after getting breast implants did you start feeling sick? Oh, literally that day. How many kids do you have? Two boys. Two this teenagers. athletic mother of two teenage boys is a breast cancer survivor. She got implants after a double mastectomy. I have never been that miserable in my entire life and in that dark of a place. And I feel horrible because my family suffered. It was in a cancer support group. Someone suggested she look into her implants as the source. Robin then found the Facebook group Breast Implant Illness and Healing with Nicole, which now has more than 51,000 members. Just four months after having her implants put in, Robin had them removed. How soon after having your implants taken out did you start to feel better? Within 48 hours, all of my symptoms were gone. Like thousands of women, Robin says her surgeon told her implants are safe. What were you told by your surgeon when you asked about the potential risks listed here? Oh, it's so rare, so rare. Like you don't even have to worry about it, it's just rare. Something we uncovered during this investigation, while breast implant manufacturers are required to publish informational booklets like this one that include potential risks, Plastic surgeons are not required to give these to patients. My surgeon chose not to provide me with this information. More than 20,000 women signed an online petition demanding the FDA hold a public hearing on breast implant illness. Robin was in a group of women who recently traveled to Washington, D.C. to meet with FDA representatives. The meetings were held behind closed doors. The women told no cameras, no recordings, no reporters allowed. Afterwards, buried in a statement in which the FDA disputes a study linking implants to illnesses, the FDA announced they will hold a public meeting. I am concerned because the FDA has sounded rather close-minded about it. Dr. Diana Zuckerman was in the group who met with the FDA. In the seven advisory panels on breast implants since the 90s, Dr. Zuckerman says the FDA routinely stacks the panels with plastic surgeons. What is the problem with having plastic surgeons on the advisory panels? Plastic surgeons whose entire livelihood is based on doing breast augmentation. And that's a huge conflict of interest when they're being asked, do you think breast implants are safe? The FDA told CBS5 it looks into conflicts of interest. However, we were able to confirm of the eight current members of the panel, at least two doctors perform breast implant surgeries, and the regulatory expert previously worked for Johnson & Johnson, which owns an implant manufacturer. The women want an unbiased panel to look at options such as 
taking textured implants linked to the potential for a rare cancer off the market, comprehensive studies, and requiring surgeons to give women a checklist of potential risks at least a week before surgery. Let me say that it doesn't count if a patient's given the checklist and then the doctor says, you know, I had to give this to you, but believe me, this is all ridiculous and this will never happen. Robin went back and compared the consent forms she signed to the booklet she was not given and found the warnings on her paperwork were not as strong when it came to risks, including cancer. I kind of felt duped when I was comparing them because if I had read the information that was in that booklet to start with, I would have never even considered it. I do want to explain how the public hearing will work. We will hear from industry representatives, experts, and also women who say that their breast implants made them sick. Then the advisory panel will vote on recommendations for the FDA. They don't actually have the power to make any changes, but the FDA does say that those recommendations are crucial to their decisions. So the big question here, can anything be done to be sure that that is, is an unbiased panel? I did ask Dr. Zuckerman that, and remember, the government controls the FDA, so she recommends that people call or email their senators and representatives in Washington, D.C., and tell lawmakers to step in and make sure that no one on that advisory panel has any financial ties to the implant industry. So that is what you can do. Right now, you can find more on this story. You'll also find my previous investigations. It's all on the AZ Family mobile app.